Hello owners and Flying Star Syndication fans, Cameron Bennett here with an episode of Flying Star TV coming into the spring. Uh, the best time of the year for all horse racing lovers. Uh, big shout out and well wishes to everyone down there in Melbourne and Victoria, uh, doing it a bit tough at present. Hopefully you can get out and about and enjoy the spring uh, shortly. Uh, big uh, thanks and support to all the owners down there um, in these tough times. Uh, flying starts on fire. We've started the season uh, in sensational form with eight winners in the month of August. And here's some of the videos of those horses winning now. Using inside runs Oakfield, Geronimo's down the outside and they're followed by nearest to pins. But Trenganu's nicely in advance, 75 metres from the judge. Roaring away, the first favourite at Clifford Park, Homanos. Trenganu bolts in, wins by seven on best to hurry. Then came Three nearest to... Bib in front, Versetta trying to rally back. Airwekos down the outside, further back to Coco Fashion. Just in front, run for glory. Versetta the inside, Airweko down the outside from Silas Saga. Run for glory's in front, Silas Saga flashing late but won't get there. Run for Glory beat Silas Saga. It's a photo. Azul Singh is believing in Tudor Prince. Somnus got the inside run. Goes after Silent Agenda. Frenzied Singh is believing. Prince of Aragon getting a split near the inside. Out wide Singh is believing. Got to a narrow lead over Silent Agenda. Prince of Aragon diving up in the inner. Don't know. Nothing in it. Photo. Seeing as runner starting to wind up now. It's Dawn Salute in front. Leads from Divine on the inside outpost. Out wide taken off. He's swamping them now. Dawn Salute led the way. Taken off out wide. Outpost the inside. It's still Dawn Salute. Dawn Salute in front. And I've tipped the first. He's got the lead over on the inside. Watchman run for glory coming through. Canapone still there. Get your grey on. Flying machine. Learn to light as well. But run for glory. Got the gap and ran to the lead. Down the outside. Flying machine. Machine, learned a light, but run for glory's in front. Run for glory has won the last from Flying Machine and learned a light. Let's Not sure. a deal dashed away up by two here from the Magic Never Ends. More Tarja, Manosphere of Ada trying to get through. And then came Mad Mooner and Danger in the path. Let's crack a deal in front. The Magic Never Ends is coming after him. Let's crack a deal. Seems to be holding on from the Magic Never Ends. And let's crack a deal. Let's crack a deal. Favourite home in the third. One of the Spartan tries to fight on. Katie's daughter can do no more. Then real fine wide, but no bad luck today. Tringanu, home and hosed. Tringanu first, second. Eight. Moss there in front, kicked away. 200 metres from the judge. Bracken's on the outside, but Moss Fair racing right away. A maiden no longer here, Moss Fair. It's charging right away to win it by about six. Moss Fair beats Bracken. 39. So there you have it, eight winners for the month of August. Uh, we actually had Catmans Fair win on the last day of July, which would have made it nine. But all in all, a fantastic month for the Flying Star team. Uh, we're on fire at the moment and I just want to congratulate all the owners and connections of those horses and we look forward to a big spring ahead. Uh, we've got plenty of nice uh, gallopers stepping out in September so plenty more winners to come. Uh, if you're interested in getting into another galloper we're releasing a few more uh, new horses at the moment and we've got some final shares left in a really nice Maurice filly out of a stakes winning Group 1 performed mare in Tip the Wink. Now my breaker and pre-trainer Victoria Peter Cunningham, who's a really good judge, has given me the big thumbs up about this girl. Um, he's pretty excited about her. He's been spot on to date. Uh, he predicted Air for he was going to be a good horse and let's crack a deal. He gave uh, him a big thumbs up as well. And he's pretty excited about this uh, Maurice filly. You know, I've spoken to a lot of the trainers here in Australia and they're uh, pretty excited about the uh, what they're showing already with the Maurice stock. And over in Japan, he's already side eight two-year-old uh, winners already in their season. So I think he's going to make it uh, as a stallion. He was a superstar on the track. And uh, our girl's getting a really nice thumbs up as well, what she's showing to date. So final shares in that filly. If you're interested in getting into a nice filly uh, with a good page, uh, please give us a call. Uh, we'd love to have you on board. Also, over the spring, uh, keep an eye out on the Facebook page every Friday afternoon. We're going to run some competitions to give away some new Flying Star caps and merchandise. If you can tip the winner in the feature races, you'll win some prizes. So keep an eye out on Facebook over the spring. Okay, our Flying Star syndication's horse to follow in spring will be Let's Crack a Deal, uh, Dundeal uh, Colt, who will be heading towards the Victorian Derby. Fingers crossed uh, he can step up this uh, rest of the prep. And a uh, really nice uh, horse with a good future. So good luck to all the connections of that horse. Horse ready to win. Oceanography. Uh, certainly beaten uh, last start. 
didn't have much luck on Dabu. Uh, keep an eye out for him um, in the next week or so. He should be very hard to beat. And an unraced horse to follow will be Deep Siva, is a Robert Heathcote trained uh, filly, uh, showing a lot on the track, and we look forward to see her step out shortly. Uh, good luck and good luck.